In this video, we're going to talk about how to name bicyclic compounds. So let's start with this example. How can we name this molecule? The first thing we need to do is identify the bridge head carbons. Now, as we travel from one bridge head carbon to another, on the left side, we're going to pass through two carbon atoms. On the right side, we're going to pass through three carbon atoms. And at the top, there's one between the two bridge head carbons. So to name this compound, it's going to be bicyclo, and then in the set in order, 3, 2, 1. And then how many carbons do we have in this molecule? It's going to be the sum of these three numbers, 3 plus 2 plus 1, which is 6, plus the two bridge head carbon atoms, so that's 8, so octane. So it's bicyclo 3, 2, 1 octane. To number it, we're going to start with the bridge head carbon, and we need to begin numbering the largest section first. So this is going to be 2, 3, 4, 5, and then the smallest section, we're going to count it last. 6, 7, and then 8. So we have a total of 8 carbons. Go ahead and try these two examples. And also try this one too. So here are the two bridgehead carbon atoms. We have two carbon atoms on the left side, two on the right side, and at the top, there's two. So this is going to be called bicyclo, and then two, two, two octane. For the structure on the right, here are the two bridgehead carbon atoms. We have two carbon atoms on the left, two on the right, one at the top. So that's going to be called bicyclo 2, 2, 1, and 2 plus 2 plus 1 is 5, plus the two bridge high carbon atoms, so that's going to be 7, and so it's going to be heptane. So we can number it this way, carbon 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and the last one we can save it for last, because it's the shortest link. Here's another two examples that you could work on. Try those two. So let's identify the bridge high carbons. And so we have four carbon atoms on the left side. On the right side, there's two carbon atoms. And in the middle, there's no carbon atoms between the two bridge head carbons. And so this is going to be called bicyclo in descending order 4, 2, 0. And we have a total of 8 carbon atoms, so octane. So to number it, we're going to start with the bridge head carbon. And we're going to start counting towards the larger ring and then towards the smaller ring. So there's a total of eight carbons in that example. Now for the next one, here are the bridge head carbons. On this side, there's two carbon atoms. In the middle, there's one, and on the right side, there's one. So that's going to be called bicyclo, and then in descending order, two, one, one. And we have a total of, this is four, plus the two bridge head carbons, so six. So that's going to be hexane. And so to number it, we're going to start with 1, and then go towards the longest link, and then 5, and then the 1 in the middle will be 6. Now let's try one more example, but this time with substituents. Feel free to pause the video and try this problem. So let's identify the bridge head of carbon atoms first. On the left side, there are four carbon atoms. 
in the middle there's zero and on the right side we can see that there's three so far we have the name bicyclo and then four three zero four plus three is seven plus the two bridge height of carbon atoms that's nine so no name now how should we number this system should we make this bridge height carbon carbon one or the one below it as carbon one and which direction should we begin counting towards the right or towards the left we should always count starting with the larger ring so on the left we have a six carbon ring on the right it's a five carbon ring so we need to number this ring first so let's try this one let's start with the bridge at carbon at the bottom so the bromine atom will be on carbon five and the chlorine atom will be on carbon eight so that would be a five bromo and an eight chloro now let's see what happens if this one is carbon one the chlorine atom is still on carbon eight but this time the bromine atom is on carbon two so it gives us uh, lower numbers for the substituents so we're gonna go with uh, this direction so this is gonna be two bromo dash eight chloro bicyclo non eight and we can see we have a total of nine carbons and so that's how you can name bicyclic compounds